the University of New Hampshire is a, a wonderful place to work and I believe it's a wonderful place for students, both undergraduate and graduate, to come to school here. Located in a rural area that is just an hour from the White Mountains, uh, half an hour from the ocean, and a little over an hour from Boston. Of the 14,000 plus students, about 15% of them are graduate students. And I have to say that in my 20 plus years of being here, I've been really impressed with the quality, both at the undergraduate and graduate level. In the areas of molecular, cellular, and biomedical sciences, our department has a, a very strong set of research programs, uh, three of them particularly relevant to cell biology research. A group of faculty here who are involved in host microbe interactions, another group of faculty, about a dozen, who are participating in areas that we describe as genome-enabled biology, with a focus on genome evolution, and molecular ecology. And a third group of another dozen or so faculty have active research programs in the area of uh, signal transduction and the molecular basis of cell signaling pathways. I'm most interested in uh, animal cancer, particularly the cellular and molecular biology of um, cancers in a comparative way. I like to use invertebrates that get cancer, some things like bivalve mollusks, and also uh, humans. We study P53, which is a tumor suppressor and also a, a transcription factor that will induce a number of other proteins uh, that then lead to apoptosis under normal circumstances. But in cancer cells, uh, one of their main fortes is to uh, prevent apoptosis. We're interested in why. The university as a whole has a great philosophy, I think, which is that they're equally interested in excellence in research and excellence in teaching. We like to be able to have students train other students, and it's, it's powerful. You, you can see students be really enthusiastic about passing on information to their peers. We also have a course called Early Engagement in Biological Research, where we bring uh, sophomores into the lab to learn a variety of techniques, so we actually start them in the field collecting some samples and then they extract DNA from those samples in a second module. In the third module they actually uh, clone the entire genome of those uh, samples that they collected from the field. My experience in the lab has allowed me to um, have a lot of other opportunities so I was able to travel to France under a grant through UNH to study more about cancer research. UNH has a really great history and provides a great environment for interdisciplinary research. In collaboration with Vaughn Cooper, who's an evolutionary biologist, and Steve Jones, who's an environmental microbiologist, we've developed a place-based study site in the Great Bay Estuary of New Hampshire to really evaluate how environment is driving the emergence of Vibrios in the Great Bay. And in particular, we're interested in understanding the ecology of disease emergence. In very recent years, there have been unprecedented outbreaks of the pathogen that we study in the region. And this really is an unusual situation, but we're right in the right place at the right time to, to provide specific questions about how the ecology is driving changes in these populations of pathogenic vibrios. Every summer, we have several high school interns who come in and do research directly with me or my graduate students and they become very involved in the actual research process to the point where they've even earned authorship on papers that we're preparing. Uh, the undergraduates also are really integral members of our research team and they learn very early on how to do research and how to master techniques and also direct themselves. There's a lot of collaboration on this project, so I'm working with three different professors all who have di different backgrounds and it's really helping me to see more sides in my project. So I'm working with a computer scientist to help with some of the sequencing work and to write some new programs for some ideas that I had to make the whole process easier. We use mass spectrometry as major tools. There are two major trajectories in terms of our uh, research projects. One direction uh, really used mass spectrometry as a way to characterize uh, structural information of proteins and protein uh, complexes. And the second direction of our research projects uh, deals with protein biology and epigenetic regulation. Students often have to learn skills that I have never actually 
learn myself. I have never tried myself, and that uh, often brings most of the excitement. Uh, the table get turned. I become students. We all work together in this university, and I find that very special. You can do your sequencing in one lab, and then you can have microscopy in another lab, and you can do your data processing with another lab that does the bioinformatics part. And there's also a great program here where all of the graduate students attend a seminar, and we're all required to present at a seminar. And through this process, we can work with each other and collaborate with each other. Because of this multidisciplinary approach that we have here, it will open doors for me um, in many aspects in my future. I can either continue on in academia pursuing a postdoctoral research position and teach other students what I have learned here and I'm still learning here, or I can go into industry. These skills are fully transferable for any kind of position that I would like to go into. For me, what really excites me about UNH is, is the combination of being an active researcher who can at the same time educate undergraduate and graduate students in the conduct of research. So I'm advancing my field and I'm educating the next generation of scientists.